Russia disables U.S. weapons with electronic warfare systems in Ukraine. Russian electronic warfare systems are derailing U.S. high-precision weapons and creating problems for the Ukrainian military. Business Insider published information about this. Throughout the war, the Ukrainian army uses high-precision GMLRS guided missiles, JDAM aerial bombs and US-made Excalibur systems. However, it is impossible to use them to their full potential as Russia's radio electronic warfare tools cause a shocking decrease in the accuracy of these types of weapons, the information stated. Thomas Withington, an expert on radio electronic warfare and HHM, also said in a statement to the publication that the capabilities and accuracy of these glorified weapons are now in question. These weapons not only have troubling tactical and operational implications for Ukrainians, but may also raise questions about others' confidence in these systems. Lieutenant General Antonio Aguto, who serving as the commander of Security Assistance Group Ukraine, addressed the problem in December, saying electronic warfare directed at some of the U.S.'s most precise capabilities was a challenge. Other U.S. officials have identified these issues as well, adding that the U.S. and Ukraine were working on solutions. Any fixes developed to effectively counter the challenge posed by electronic warfare won't just benefit Ukraine. They're also set to help the U.S. solve problems it has long been concerned about as it prepares for the possibility of great power conflict. Mark Kansian, a retired Marine Corps colonel who's a senior advisor at the Center for Strategic and International Studies, explained to Business Insider that the widespread GPS spoofing we see in Ukraine adds urgency to solving a problem. The DOD has long recognized that wartime spoofing will reduce the effectiveness of its weapons. Electronic warfare can be executed using cheap but effective technology, and both sides of the war are using it extensively. And these tactics are not used solely to foil precision-guided munitions. They can also be used to scramble the connection between an operator and a reconnaissance or strike drone. Electronic warfare is a broad term that includes a variety of inexpensive options. Five people were killed and nine others got injured in Ukrainian drone and artillery strike on a hotel in Russian-held eastern Donetsk region. The strikes were delivered with the use of HIMARS multiple rocket launcher system. Along with the hotel building, cars nearby were also targeted by missile attacks. According to the reports in Ukrainian media, the participants of the motorcade gathered in front of that hotel on the occasion of the 10th anniversary of the formation of the so-called Donetsk People's Republic. Earlier, Denis Pushilin, the Russian-installed head of Donetsk region, said in a statement posted on the Telegram messaging app that three people were killed and eight more injured as a Ukrainian missile struck a restaurant in Donetsk city. Meanwhile, four people were killed in an attack on an oil base in eastern Luhansk region with the use of Atikms. Located in Ukraine's industrial Donbass region, Donetsk came under the control of Russian-backed separatists in 2014 and regularly came under Ukrainian shelling after Moscow's full-fledged invasion of Ukraine in February 2022. The region became more secure after Kiev's troops were forced from its outskirts earlier this year. Слона раннего. Сломают, да? Угу. По телефону будет. И вот на улице нас накидала и горит. И на стол их парит. Ой, мать дела. Ой, блядь, у меня там стреля. Ой, ой, надо взводить.
Блин, люди спаслись в